Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and a brand new video on Marvel Contest of Champions. This video is focused on a certain champion. And that certain champion is Gam to the Aura. That's right, it's Gamora. And as you will know, I recently picked her up in a six-star crystal opening. Yes, it was a real hootenanny. It was, and obviously I was hoping for something a little bit more substantial. Maybe even an awakening on my King Groot or my Bishop. But hey-ho, we've still got something that's going to be handy in Arena. Uh, yeah, and that may be a bit of a, a bit of a rude assumption of this character. But maybe she could be a little bit better. Let's analyse her a bit more. One of the major criticisms I do have about these old champions, and, you know, I think, again, it's a bit rude to say old champion. Well, in some ways, it is an old champion. Back in the day, a lot of champions were released into the game. But now we've got the glory days of the changes two synergies, making certain champions more powerful than you might think. However though, the older champions don't really get a look in with things like the powers of their L1s, L2s and signature abilities, which nowadays are extremely more powerful than they used to be. And this champion is a good example of that. Okay, let's sink our teeth into her abilities and see as what we're going to do is compare it off with a four star version and see if anything is more substantial. Yes, I know there could be a five star version to look at. Yes, a six star version may be more substantial. But the fact is we can get a good gauge how the champion scales based on starage. So we can find out, hey, what does it do at a four star? And what does it do at a six star? This is the major thing that I talk about that is just old champions don't get a good look in. Yes, we're putting new champions into the game, but are we really looking at the older champions to being upscaled to dish out as much damage as the newer champions being put in? And the answer at the moment is a resounding no. Gamora doesn't have anything specific or special going for her, as you can see her special attacks. Uh, yeah, I'm done. Look, signature ability at the top and then just all attacks at the bottom. There's, there's, there's literally just nothing of a write-up for the complexity of the champion. And again, that's no great criticism, but it is a criticism based on the way the game has changed. So, all attacks. 10% chance to increase critical damage rating by 1,366.6707 seconds. And then we've got 90% chance to inflict bleed, dealing 4,311 direct damage over 5 seconds. And the special attack 1 and 2... Critical hit chances is uh, 100%. Okay, that's fine. Let's compare that off with the 4-star version. Now, based on this storage and this rank, we can see that the stats are 1,561, which is a there is a difference then. Obviously, it does feel like it has been upscaled quite a bit with the direct damage from the bleed, which is good. Obviously, if you're running things with certain masteries, you're going to find that that critical is going to increase. You're going to find that your bleeds are going to increase, especially if you're doing deep wounds, then that's going to be helpful too. And as well, all attacks, yeah, there's an, there's an increase that, well, there's an increase with a six star than there is with a four star, but it's not as substantial as a lot of other champions that deal out and dish a huge amount of damage. And just quickly comparing off the all attack section, it's only actually increased by 100. You think with these being fairly recent, the addition of the six stars, that that rating could be a lot higher for that, even with certain other aspects to even kind of scale the champion against more difficult content, or maybe even scaling against changes in the game where say new champions would be a lot more powerful, dish out more damage than this little lady here. Even though you can make slight improvements to the cosmic class using such synergies as the cosmic supremacy synergy, we haven't seen a huge improvement to the line and synergies with the Guardians of the Galaxy team. Maybe, maybe for whatever reason, James Gunn said something to Kabam, and as a result, they've taken it very, uh, you know, not well. That's a topical joke right now. It didn't land, but it was a topical joke. My general opinion on Gamora is she's a very blasé champion. She's only made blasé by, and that's a weird way to phrase it, but the fact is she does feel very blasé. If you compare it against stuff that's coming into the game, then you just go, well, could they introduce a synergy that's going to make her really good with a new champion coming in? I don't know. Would be nice to see that at least give some vibrancy to a champion that is not going to be used to complete a lot of content. Unless you're talking about very early on, people would probably use her for between Act 1 and maybe a little bit of Act 4, but that is a real push. When it comes into Act 5, she loses all kind of worth or any kind of need. So, 
Yeah, what is she used for? You've got it in one. It's all about Arena. That's the only real worth that I can see with this champion, especially a six star version at the point of this game. Would I use um, any of my other six stars over her? Yeah, damn right. I've got Bishop and I've got King Groot, two champions I really enjoy and at the same time do put out a lot of damage. Energy damage with Bishop, pretty darn effective for energy resistance, absorption, that kind of stuff. And then King Group with shrugging, shrugging off with buff effects as well, getting up to an L3 and putting regeneration. I will probably do a video on him at a later date. But our focus is obviously on Gamora. That is my use for her. One thing, and I, I you know, it's a very stretch to find something good about a champion, is the extent of the attack. Like, attack is pretty good for this champion. You're going to get some really nice and favorable crits from time to time. Do I think it's a saving grace for the champion? No, not really. Because... There's nothing of a signature ability that's unless you're talking about assassination and that's sort of helpful but at the same time not completely helpful. And yes because assassination if you were interested and yes maybe some people are going oh no she's good with her special signature ability. Yeah but having it occur once per battle is very unfavorable that's a bit of a kick in the nuts. Maybe there'll be a case in the future with a future synergy that is going to make her more powerful to make you go, yes, okay, this champion is one I'm going to take through in a lot of end game content, difficult content, or maybe even Act 5. My ending point is she's always going to be Arena Champion for me. I'm not going to utilize it in anything with end game content as well when it comes to anything in Act 5. Not of great interest for me, not going to do what I, what I really need. And that's going to be a champion with very intricate signature abilities and general abilities for that fact. If you did enjoy Gamora, then let me know in the comment section below. Let me know if I'm wrong as well, because you're entitled to your own opinion. And make sure that you are like the channel and like this video. You know, support by hitting that subscribe button, as well as following me on social media links in the description. And don't forget to put that bell notification on, so when my videos pop up, you get to see them first. I've been Rich the Man. Thanks again for watching, and I shall catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye, for now.